Good morning, Colfax, and welcome back to CTV Show 4. Today, we'll look back on the career fair, dive into the fall concert, and as always, Mary and her sports team will go around the PBL. Welcome to the show. The annual ASB Powerpuff Boys Volleyball Tournament is back. Sign-ups to play for your class team continue at lunch today with the last day to sign up on Wednesday. Practices will take place this Wednesday through Friday, and the games will be played next week with the juniors taking on the freshmen on Monday and the seniors taking on the sophomores on Tuesday. The third place game will be played on Wednesday, and the final will be played before the girls' volleyball playoff on Thursday night. That's going to be fun. My teammates and I are already working on our coaching strategy. Halloween is right around the corner, and Link Crew has been preparing for one of the most anticipated events of the year and their number one fundraiser, The Haunted House. Make sure to support the organization that supports us on October 24th. Megan Town got out to see what this event is all about. Every year, Colfax High School's Link Crew puts on a terrifying haunted house, and this year is no different. Many hours have already been put in by Link Leaders to make this haunted house a success. So to prepare for the haunted house, we've been working on a lot during lunch and during flex time. We're sorting through the decorations, seeing what we're going to use this year, kind of planning out where we're going to have it. I know that it's also the Bear River game. I put that out. Like, like, so 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 yeah. Yeah. Every year features a uniquely chilling theme, and this year is sure to scare everyone. So the theme of the haunted house this year is like a circus with a bunch of scary clowns coming at you. Um, it's really just a circus gone bad. And um, a lot of kids from Link Crew have been coming in for advisory. Um, we come in for lunch almost every day and some kids are even working after school um, just nonstop to make sure this is really good. And this year we actually have a new location. Um, it's going to be inside and in the inner quad. If you want the scare of a lifetime, join Link Crew Thursday, October 24th from 6.30 to 8.30 for what should be a circus of a good time. Reporting from the scariest corner of campus, I'm Megan Town with Camera Ops and Editor, Jack Kindis. Personally, I'm really excited to get a candy apple, walk through the house, and get my spooks on before Halloween. Speaking of spooky, the future can be pretty scary. Our recent career fair tried to ease the fear and highlight the possibilities that the future holds for our Colfax students. Hello, I'm Wyatt Graves, reporting here at Colfax's 2019 career fair where students have an opportunity to find their future in many new ways. We interviewed counselor Miss Rondoni to figure out what the Colfax Career Fair was all about and what professionals were on hand to connect with students. The impact of career fair can be seen in the city of Colfax's own volunteer fire captain, Sean Lohman. Captain Sean Lohman knows firsthand that volunteer fire service is a great jumping off point for a job in the emergency services. The career fair I went to brought me a lot of information on firefighting and emergency services and it really helped get me into the, the idea that that's what I wanted to do. Senior Lindsay Tellman was getting a lot of interest from the Air Force, despite her plans to become a lawyer. She also told us what new opportunities she saw at the fair. I learned a lot about being a lawyer today, opportunities about uh, different career options and paths for those who weren't even, maybe weren't even thinking about a career. So. Throughout the day, career fair could be felt and heard, inspiring students to take their next step in life. Senior Zach Starbuck got some clarity at the fair. It's definitely everything pretty much struck my interest. I don't know what I'm going to do with my life, so this gave me a few directions that I could possibly go off on. I'm Wyatt Graves, reporting at CTV's Career Fair, signing off. 
What an amazing opportunity. Thank you, Mrs. Rondoni, for making this insightful event possible, even during a power outage. The fall concert was rescheduled due to the power outage last week. Exactly one week later, the performers took to the stage unfazed and delivered a beautiful concert. CTV was there to see the magic unfold. The fall concert was canceled due to a power outage, but the show must go on, and it did on October 17th. This spectacular night started with the heartbeat of Colfax, our drumline. The group did not disappoint and energized the entire crowd. The night featured solo performances from Jordan Walker, Rebecca J, and Cassidy Redfern. All these artists shined and were able to share their talents with near capacity crowd. Cause every breath I've been taking since you left is like a hollow street. The concert choir filled the room with 55 voices and were joined on stage by alumni to sing Hail to Colfax. Later in the night, drumline members Zach Starbuck, Megan Schwartz, Bethany Knox, and Crystal Trulin joined the 32-member chamber choir for a fantastic performance, Music's Echo. Overall, the night was filled with fantastic artists and musicians who delivered a beautiful night and music despite power setbacks. The music department is already preparing for their next concert, the Winter Concert, which slated for December 12th at 7 p.m. On behalf of reporter Lindsay Talman and editor Louis Wells, I'm Lucian Shelton. What a fantastic night. It's always incredible to see Colfax students thrive in our music program. Now Mary and her team with Around the PVL. Mary. Welcome back to CTV Sports. This week we hit the links with our girls golf team, check in with our volleyball girls as they set their sights on a perfect league season and see what's next for our cross country team. Let's go. Our girls golf team is young and getting better one round at a time. Reporter Bethany Gadway tees up our Team of the Week. Hi, I'm Bethany Gadway reporting for CTV Sports and I'm here at the Ridge Golf Course where the Colfax girls golf team is competing. The girls golf team has had a great start to their season so far with a 5-1 record and they took second in their tournament last Monday, losing by only 25 strokes to Bear River. Colfax's girls golf team is doing well against Lindhurst in their match today, with Mackenzie Tracy, Lauren Conway, Roxanne Reynolds and Anna Sutherland up in front. I caught up with junior golfer Roxanne Reynolds for the inside scoop. So what are some of your goals for the PVL race? Um, so this year my personal goal is to shoot under 50 consistently, which so far I've been doing. And for our team overall, we want to try and shoot um, under 300 for each match, and we've been doing that so far too. So. All right, and um, so who's your biggest competition right now? Um, definitely Bear River. They have just a lot of girls that shoot, like, I think all their girls shoot under 50, and that's kind of hard for us, so mm -hmm. yeah. And how are you doing in the PVL race so far? Um, pretty good. Like I said, Bear River is pretty hard to beat, and right now we're just in second place right behind them, and yeah, we're doing good. All right, great job. Thank you so much. Thank you. The girls have been practicing hard every day for two hours after school and hit about a thousand golf balls a week. Coaches Jason Rogers and Gary Rooker have been working alongside the girls to help build their skills and take home the PVO. I'm Bethany Gadway, reporting for CTV Sports, signing off. Thank you so much, Bethany. The future is definitely bright for our girls' golf. 
The cross-country team battled at Collins Lake on Wednesday, October 16th. The boys won their race and the girls got within two points of knocking off top seed Bear River. The team will now prepare for their PVL championship hosted by Bear River on October 30th. Double points are on the line, which means both teams are in a fight for titles. The girls volleyball team continues their quest for a perfect run through the PVL and reporter Jimmy Smith and camera op Liam Lewis have our first Around the PVL highlight package. The volleyball team is on a six game winning streak, which gives them a two game lead in the PVL over Bear River and a likely number one seed in the Division 5 playoffs. We talked to senior libero Haley Mulek, and she is all about the team growing their connections on and off the court as the season rolls on. The Falcons are on a roll and stands out Grace Bliss, Kaylee Beebe, and Haley Mulek as they continue to put up big numbers in blocks, kills, and digs. Junior Kaylee Beebe leads the league in blocks and Haley Mulek 218 digs rank her second in the league. The girls are facing off at Foothill, a team they beat in three games in the first round on Tuesday, October 22nd and will close out league play at the Pucci Pavilion for Senior Night on Wednesday, October 23rd. The team looks to close out a perfect league season and grab the number one seed in the Division 5 playoff, which opened on Monday, October 28th. Jimmy Smith reporting for CTV with camera op Drew Garcia and editor Liam Lewis signing off. I know I will be there for senior night this Wednesday and I hope to see all of you there as well. Last Friday night we celebrated the senior football players and cheerleaders at senior night. The Falcons took on Lindhurst and racked up 37 points to secure their fourth straight win. The boys will face Cross River rival Bear River in the 32nd annual River Bowl this Friday night at Bear River. The nest is going pink out to support Breast Cancer Awareness Month, so find some pink and let's take over the Bear River Stadium. Until next week, I'm Mary O'Rourke. Good luck to our athletes and teams, and I will see all of you in the nest wearing pink. Thank you, Mary, and congratulations on the new Around the PVL highlight. Next week, we'll see how voting impacts Colfax students and go behind the scenes of the drama department's production of The Good Doctor. Until next week, I'm Shaylin Ackerman. And I'm Garrett Reinhardt. Have a great day, Colfax.